Hello friends, let's see the most important topic of the perineum and that is the perineal body. The perineal body, it is also called as the gynecological perineum in case of the female. And the other name of this perineal body, it is also a central point of perineum. This perineal body, it is not a structure, but it is formed by the aggregation of the 10 muscles and going to form the fibromuscular tissue, which is located at the junction of the urogenital triangle anteriorly and the anal triangle posteriorly. So at the junction of these two, the perineal body lies. Perineal body is most important structure in case of female because of the presence of the urogenital hiatus in front and the anal hiatus behind. In case of the female, this urogenital hiatus it is more wider because of the presence of the vagina. So this perineal body it is situated within the midline between the vaginal opening in front and the anal opening behind. And this perineal body, as we already discussed, it is not a structure, but it is the aggregation of the fibromuscular tissue. And this perineal body is going to be formed by the fusion of the 10 muscles. So it is the meeting point of the 10 muscles of the pelvis and that will provide the firmness to the perineum. Superiorly, this perineal body provides attachment of one septum and this septum it is called as the rectovaginal septum in case of female or the rectovesical septum in case of male there are 10 muscles which are going to form the perineal body and let's see them in three different stratum so perineal body having three different strata the deep stratum intermediate stratum and superficial stratum the deep stratum, it is going to be formed by the levator ani muscle. The intermediate stratum, it is going to be formed by the deep part of the external anal sphincter and two muscles of the deep perineal pouch and these are the sphincter urethra muscle and deep transverse perine muscle. And the superficial stratum, it is going to be formed by the superficial part of the external anal sphincter and two muscles of the superficial perineal pouch. These are the bulbospongiosus and superficial transverse perine muscle. The ischiocavernosus muscle of the superficial perineal pouch do not form this perineal body or we can say it is not going to attach with this perineal body because this muscle it is present on the lateral aspect of the superficial perineal pouch so this perineal body it includes 10 muscles which include within the deep stratum two sided levator ani muscle in the intermediate stratum it has one deep part of the external anal sphincter the sphincter urethra muscle and both the sided deep transverse perine muscle while the superficial stratum having superficial part of the external anal sphincter bulbospongiosus muscle and the both the sided superficial transverse perine muscle so these are the 10 muscles which are going to form the perineal body this perineal body provides strength to the perineum especially in case of female and sometimes this perineal body may be torn in female during parturition and if it occurs and not properly repaired the hiatus urogenitalis which includes the opening of the vagina it becomes wider and and it will lead to the prolapse of the pelvic visceras outside in case of female so the repair of this perineal body it is very important after the parturition if it is torn but for the prevention of this tearing of the perineal body at the time of the parturition, the obstetrician put one incision at the inferolateral aspect to the vagina and it will lead to the widening of the vaginal opening during the parturition and this is usually occur at the time of the first parturition of the female. 
so this will prevent the undue tearing of the perineal body and this procedure it is called as the episiotomy so this is all about the perineal body thanks for watching